At Forever Paws Animal Shelter, our mission is simple. Place these valued animals in loving homes. Forever Paws Animal Shelter, giving animals a new leash on life. I got this Dirt Devil vacuum cleaner that's been sitting here in my space for a little little bit, probably a couple weeks anyway, and it's kind of getting in the way. It quit on me. I was trying to vacuum. Uh, the wife had vacuumed before me and let the thing fill up, and I didn't know it. And it's, it, I think it had filled up, backed way up into the mechanism or something. I'm not even sure, but it just fucking quit on me. So I think it overheated and maybe blew a fuse because nothing at all would happen. So we're going to open it up and see if it can be salvaged. If not, we're going to throw it away and get it the hell out of my space. And just to double check the problem, I'm going to plug it in here and make sure it's make sure it's still doing that. Or well, doing nothing, doing nothing, I should say. Okay, well it seems to work now. So why? I wonder why that is. Does it does this thing have like a uh, some kind of thermal switch? It probably does. It got it probably overheated. It has a thermal switch to keep it from catching fire. And it's I mean it might work for a little bit and then it probably will stop again. I'm really getting no no suction or pressure or anything coming out of these hoses, so there's something something not right. So let's go ahead and unplug it and do some diagnostics down here. I'm gonna have to take uh, these brackets off here to get the I think this whole bottom piece apart. Let's make sure these brushes are moving at least. Look. And they are. Okay, I've got the roller brush uh, mounting bracket off of here and also the roller brush itself and it's still turning freely which is which is good. Um, what can happen on these though is if uh, my wife sews and we get a lot of threads on the floor and these just wrap themselves around the roller brush in addition to hair and everything else but um, they can if they get anywhere inside of this little lip on the on either side uh, they get down in there it'll seize this up and it'll just destroy it um, so I'm gonna cut all of this loose and just come down through here with scissors and cut it all out of there um, I don't obviously I don't see any obvious blocks it looks like the it looks like everything's free, so I don't know what's up with that. It's just not, I'm not getting any really uh, good suction with this. Uh, the motor's obviously running. The belt's good, and it's driving this roller brush. So we'll have to explore a little further and see why we're not getting good suction. It also looks like one of the ways they've designed these uh, brushes is uh, they have these, they have these, pieces right here that are kind of lower uh, and it seems to collect a lot of the threads in these areas so that they don't get uh, clogged up in the important areas let's see here how a lot, there's a lot of stuff right there it's a low spot right here I've cut this away there's a lot of stuff that got directed down into this one it's a little groove another groove here another groove here so all the stuff tends to get collected into these grooves so it doesn't uh, doesn't clog up the mechanism. Smart engineering. Okay, um, this is the this is kind of the the non bag. This is the collection canister, and it usually sets in here like this, and it pulls out. Um, and let's see. So we've got an we've got uh, we've got two way you got a way in and out of this. Um, 
there the impeller I believe is down here so the impeller is is down there so this is what will induce the vacuum there is a port that goes into there and comes comes up this chute here and and here so the suction the suction goes this way right so yeah the suction is coming uh, out right out of this so it will come so the stuff will come into this area here from there so this is the impeller so we want to make sure this impeller I've got it plugged in again I want to see if the impeller is really doing anything it's usually underneath a, a little filter. A, I need to clean this. And then there's a second little filter there. Let's see if uh, it's doing anything at all. I, well, let's, let's take the belt off. I don't want to burn the belt up in the process. Just make sure it doesn't destroy that. Okay. Okay, so I'm definitely feeling some suction there. I think what might be happening is this filter is, is really clogged, and then the uh, uh, the exit filter, which is this, there's a HEPA filter under here, may also be clogged. It doesn't appear to be, but let's see. Let's try it without that. Well, I'm definitely getting some strong exhaust. The exhaust is, is hot, and I think in this motor area seems hot, but not as hot as it did. So I think the problem was uh, was with maybe this filter being a bit clogged, maybe this one also being a, a slight bit clogged. So it's not able to, um, it's not able, it's having a harder time producing the vacuum. And I think it shut down on me because uh, once again, there's a, there's probably a thermal element somewhere in here, and if it gets too hot, uh, it you know it will flip a switch and uh, basically pre you know prevent the thing from catching on fire. So hopefully, cleaning these uh, cleaning these filters will take care of that. So yeah, if you're wondering uh, what to do with one of these vacuums and it, it shuts down like that on you, wait a little while, clean it out in the meantime. Go ahead and clean your roller brush and everything too. You can see this one's very clean now. I've taken the scissors and cut everything off of it. Uh, so hopefully this thing will run a little bit smoother. Okay, so it's been about a week or two now, and this thing is still vacuuming like a champ, so I don't foresee it having any more problems. And I must say, for a cheap vacuum cleaner, you could get these things for around $60. You know, I'm really surprised by how much support Dirt Devil uh, gives this thing. If you go on their website... Uh, you can find some parts, you can find uh, belts, you can find uh, other uh, parts, you can find uh, all of the filters that you need for it. Uh, you can even find the brush roller, um, although the brush roller is $25 and some change and probably would be you know, $30 or $40 by the time you add shipping. That's going to put it right there in the realm of being more economical just to replace the whole vacuum cleaner. But, you know, once again, it is nice to see that they do uh, make the parts and they do give you an opportunity at least to try to repair some of their stuff. I think you can also get the manual on their website. And if I had the manual, it, I probably would have 
uh, notice that this thing does have a uh, thermal switch so if the motor tries to overheat that thermal switch will kick in and not allow that to happen so that's good um, I have to say that's a good engineering thing and probably one that would be required on vacuums like this because the thing is if one of these overheats to the point of trying to catch fire you really could have a, fi a bad fire on your hands because carpets can be pretty flammable so anyway uh yeah so that's gonna conclude this video hope you guys have enjoyed it please hit subscribe down below if you have hit the bell to receive all notifications and for now y'all take care Ooh.